Hey everybody, thank you for selecting my channel. Today we're going to be talking about the wear on velvet Chanel pieces. Um, right now when the, uh, the new collections are showing velvet pieces and I would like to discuss how the wear is and show you guys if you're interested in a velvet. Um, this one is a 9 series and it is a vintage piece. It is an extra mini and it's um, black, so black on shiny rhodium. And um, this is an extra mini and I would like to show you how I pack it to preserve um, and deter per, uh, further um, wear on it. So as you can already see in the different lighting, you could see the rubs. And if you move it in certain ways, you kind of not see it. Um, it is actually very good. It's, I wouldn't say high maintenance. I don't really have to baby the bag when I wear it, but when you store it, I think it's the most important thing. Um, because as you can see over here, I stored it like this, and there's a mark and I've been trying to get it out. Another another word that I've noticed is, um, and you see here, I'll open, I'll show you how I pack it too. So I got this, um, this uh, felt, felt in this like black felt just to prevent it because I didn't have it before and you could see because of the closing it and storing it you see that there's the velvet rubs so this is I guess the rub is um the shortening of the fiber so the fiber has been shortened or affected see I'm rubbing it now and it looks like it's um it's moving but because you're your lid is um that is on it it does see it does it does move the hair and um sometimes shorten the fiber or yeah so that's why but in a different light i mean like it, it doesn't bother me because it is i mean i've had this bag for a long long time um but and it is a series nine so i think that's like a 2004 um, so as you can see and then sometimes I do wrap the bag chain to make it shorter so you could see the indent I don't know if you can see that the indentation of the chain you could oh you can see it more here because I do wear it because it, it's the length is very very long for me and I'm five foot one so it's as long as actually as a walk so it's like I think it's a 22 inch drop so I do shorten it um, especially for dressier events, so you can see that it it it, it um, affected it. The wear on it on the corners, not so much. Like I said, I think it's just um. You're gonna see that there is a little wear here. So as you can see, like it's really not it, like it does last. So this is 2004, and if you move that, like you don't really see it. So it's bit basically like the lighting. So it's 2004. So we're now at 2020. So it's a you know 16 year old bag. Um, so the vet has stood in time, and of course, no problem with the shiny radi uh, radium. So it's resolved on tight. So I do stuff it because I don't want to lose its shape. Um, and here we go. I just want to show you throughout what the velvet looks like. So, and then. You could use it as a clutch, you put the chains inside, and hand hold it, or as a short bag, or crossbody. So you can see the shape has has kept its its um has kept its shape because of the stuffing. So I would recommend definitely stuff it because it is a velvet is pretty soft. It's not gonna be be sturdy as a leather. But I would definitely recommend it. Um, velvet is one of the pieces that could dress up your outfits, and it's a classic one that comes back every year um, in some of the different design, big design houses. So it's one of those things that um, forever be in your collection. And that's it. Thanks. I hope you liked your uh, looked at my video, and if you did, please subscribe and like the button behind uh, below. Um, and I'll do more videos for you. Just let me know what you would like to see. Thank you. Bye-bye.